All right, well, look, I'm here early today. This place needs a little TLC. I'm about to go in the kitchen and do some stuff. I was in the dining room trying to do some stuff over here. Yesterday was a little crazy. I'll do a video about that when, when, I, when I'm home in the studio. But today I'm gonna do, you guys thought I was joking about the job market, about how people, uh, attitudes towards looking for jobs or whatever. I don't know, because I can only speak for myself and I can speak about you know people that I speak to and they give me their experience and I haven't done that. I actually called some of the people, I haven't spoken to them in a little while. And I don't know if they're hiring and if they're going through some of the same uh, instances that I'm going, the same you know, experiences that I'm going. But it's been in waves and every wave is different. And don't get me wrong, I'm lucky. I find good people every time. But boo, I tell you, it's getting harder and harder to find good people. It, it's just, it's, that's, all, that's all I got to say. It's getting harder and harder. That's not all I got to say, but that's what I'm going to say. It's getting harder and harder. And I've been hearing some of the crazy excuses. I, I know I did jokes. I did jokes. I did a little short. Maybe somebody didn't get it. The whole short was that, you know, basically, people are just, they lying. People are lying for no reason. Like, you haven't even started working. Why are you lying? Why? Why, why are you lying? And they, you can hear a little meme in the background. But uh, exactly. Like, why? You haven't started working. Why are you lying? So people are making excuses for not showing up to their first interview. Whatever it may be, maybe they have a bunch of interviews and they're like, I couldn't make it to this one. Don't make an excuse. But they're making some like crazy excuses. And then on top of that, you know they're lying because when they come in, some of them have basically mentioned another excuse. And I'm like, that's not the reason. So that short was a joke, but that's because it actually happened. And I actually did have somebody email me trying to reschedule that someone passed away or somebody had just passed away like in the week so they were you know busy in it and then when they came in because i'm like that's a pretty you know who's gonna lie about that but apparently they were because they came in and they their excuse that they should didn't show up was something else and i'm like ah but you know what i was like whatever whatever this week and this is i'm telling you this week i had i had two people to start you know with part-time schedules whatever that's what they're looking for one person was to start on friday because i they, i told them which day they would like they said Friday to start. I said, okay, no problem. They were going to start and train. They just train. Nothing difficult, just to train. What happened? What do you think happened? What do, what do you think happened? Friday, no show, no call. First day, no more common courtesy. I've been saying that common courtesy is gone. I, I don't know. I don't know. And I'm, I sound like I'm complaining, but just fucking, I'm venting. I'm, I'm not venting. This, I'm just telling you what's going on. Take it for however you want to take it. I'm just telling you what's going on in this market right now, at least my experiences. You take it however you want. I got somebody say, I don't know if it was me, but they were talking about the video, the person I was talking about the video, or me, or me they were saying I'm negative. I'm, look, I don't think I'm negative. If you think I'm negative, that means you must be living the life because I'm talking about my life and you're saying I'm negative, so that shit, you say, you're basically saying my life sucks, or whatever, but I'm not, I didn't think my life sucks, but if, you're, if that's what you're saying, whatever. I had somebody else supposed to start on Saturday. Again, 30 minutes before they were supposed to start, apparently something happened that they can't walk and whatever. And again, they could, it could be 100% true. I'm not saying it's not true, but it's been happening so much that it's like, by the ratio, I gotta assume that it's not true because so many people have been not showing up the first day that it's like, huh. What makes it that you're the one that is telling the truth why you can't show up? So again, I was tempted. I'm still tempted about giving, I'm not gonna, but I can't. I can't do it because if I do hire him, then he doesn't show up to work another day. I should have been like, I should have known. He couldn't show up the first day he was, he was supposed to work. He came up with an excuse. It's like, you know, it would have been my fault for that situation. And, I, and it's something I should have known. So I can't do it. But look, I'm just venting. This is literally what's going on. Uh, I'm going to do another video about <laughs> some other stuff that is a little <laughs> very crazy. I got to be careful how I talk about that. But that's what's going on. Let me know if you guys are having people that are looking for jobs. Tell me, why are you really lying or, or people just don't care? Like, what is it? What is it? I mean, look, employer, employee, you know, they don't owe each other nothing. The only thing I would owe is like, you know, if somebody comes in, I owe you what I tell you that I'm going to give you. You know, that's, that's it. If I'm telling you I'm going to be able to do this, I owe you that at least, right? I owe you to be honest. I owe you to be a good working environment. Besides that, when, if someone's going to quit, they're going to quit, whatever. Look, we've been, I've been lucky. 
I'm honest. I've been lucky. I've had really good people working here, but it's just hard finding them. I'm going through a lot of crazy interviews and pro the process has gotten a little bit worse over the last two years, man. I'm done. I'm gonna. I gotta get a lot of shit done today. Peace later.